Hey guys, almost addicted here, and today I'm going to show you how to build this awesome castle. And it's made of wood. It's got everything you need to survive. Hopefully, you enjoyed this one. Slap a like on the video. And without further ado, let's build this house castle thing. Right, guys, so this build will fit in an 18 by 26. You can just pause the video, check uh, the dimensions and stuff there. Um, so yeah, we're going to start from this corner, one, two, three, four, and then two up like this. So we're going to start with some of the stripped spruce log, but you can change all the materials around if you don't want to use certain materials, but yeah. Now we're going to get the stripped oak log and count one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four to the side, one, two, three, four, like this. And we're basically putting these either side of these corners here. So either side here, so one, 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 one. Just facing diagonal and you're just putting two at the side like that. So back from here, we're going to start on the wall, which is a stripped oak log. So we're going to count one gap, one gap, one gap, one gap. Go diagonal. And we're at the back now. So that's one gap, one gap, one gap, one gap, one gap, one gap, one gap. And then we're going to go diagonal again. So we're facing that way. So that's one gap, one gap, one gap, one gap, one gap. Try to say that fast. And then diagonal again and then we're gonna have five gaps here so one two three four five should have five there and then one 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 with the gap in between it should be in the middle of there and there and that's gonna be our wall I'm gonna build up this tower first I might actually go at the side here so we're gonna grab our strip spruce log two gaps from the end pillars here two gaps from that two gaps from that that's gonna be like a little horse stable if you want to bring it out like this maybe you could do that and extend it a little bit more so your horses have got a bit more room uh, so yeah i'm going to start from here we're going to bring all these up to one extra here and then we're going to have our spruce stairs both facing like that so turn here facing like that here facing like that here facing like that and then we're going to bring these walls up now it's your decision how you want to bring these walls up if you want to bring them all the way up like this for the starters and then have them plain for now and then you can decide what you want to do and uh, maybe take some gaps out we'll take them out later and we'll go from there eh? Uh, so now we're going to grab some of the oak planks we're going to go all the way around this and then we're going to get the stairs for this bit so stair here and a stair here for our front entrance and then what we're going to do is grab the stripped oak log. We're going to count one, two, three. And place one first. So you can place it like that. So they're all kind of going up like that. And you can kind of see the grooves of them moving up in that direction. Now we're going to count one, two. One, two of the spruce. We're going to do the same in each corner like this. And we can do the same for in the middles here. And uh, yeah, you can always add detail later. We're just keeping it plain for now. Um, so there's no need to worry so now the next stage we're going to grab some of the oak planks we're going to count up one two now one two one two one two we're going to have a gap for a window here i might have a gap for a window here as well and at the back and just basically all the way around it, i think it might work apart from maybe this one here because we kind of want to be able to go in through here and use that as maybe a ladder to get up so maybe all the sides will do it but just at the back we'll kind of leave it as is so now we're going to grab some of the stripped oak log we're going to do the same so place one so we can put three in the middle place one so we can put them all kind of facing up and then we don't have to do it for that one and um, so yeah so once we've got onto that we can put it up one extra like this and then we can get our spruce place in like this perfect and um, maybe we could go one higher in fact I'll keep it like this for now um, and then we're gonna grab some of the spruce stairs so a spruce stair there and there so one two three like that going all the way around making sure there's a gap in the middle and then we're gonna place our stripped spruce log on top of it just on top of each one of these and then we want to get the stair of the spruce and we're going to go from the inside so all the stairs are facing out like this perfect now the next stage we are going to grab the stairs and put them upside down here uh, this is so we can hang some lanterns from it and it'll look pretty cool so get some lanterns hanging from here like that that should be perfect for that and then on top what you can decide to do you can maybe use some spruce or you could maybe 
I'm going to go with um, the spruce, but you can use the oak that works just as well. Uh, Trapdoors. So like that just gives it a little bit more detail. So now for the windows, what I've decided to do is grab some bush so like this and this. And we might not need to do it for these two here because um, we're going to have wall that's going to be in the way. So we're going to leave that. So just for these two outside of this side. So yeah. And we're just going to repeat it for both of them. So some trapdoors underneath and trapdoors at the side of them. Like this. And then we're going to grab our sign. So I'm using the spruce sign. So just place them down. You can actually put some um, writing on there if you would choose. Um, so like that. So it's yeah, it's a nice kind of little flower pot. And now we're going to grab our spruce um, fence. So grab our spruce fence. Now we're done with those. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. And then we're going to grab a spruce slab, place it in the middle, and then we're going to get our trap door either side, and it just makes a perfect kind of little window. Perfect little finish to it. So what we're going to do for this bit is probably best to place the door first and actually remove some of the ground here. So one, two, three, four. I think it would be perfect. You can use oak, spruce, whatever you like. And now we're going to grab our door. So I'd say not that door. I'm going to use the spruce door. Place it there. And then we go from the inside here. We crouch down and place three there. One, two, three. And we can shut those like that. And then we're going to have to crouch down and place on top of the door like that. And then um, what we can do actually, instead of having it there, we can have it a bit back so it's resting behind here so we crouch down and just get them all up so it's kind of like they all shut behind there and then we can place our door on it's probably best like that so yeah it's got a little bit more depth that way i think it probably work a little bit better so let's have a little look around here maybe what we could do for this window we could place something like that there we're gonna have a a wall in the way anyway so it's going to be okay at the back here you can choose to do whatever you like uh, but we're going to have a wall here so the wall roughly is going to be like that's one two three four five six up to that height and then we'll probably have a stair facing out like that so all these are going to go up to six so that's one two three four five six and we can just bring those all the way up and um, so I'm going to speed this up. So every single one of these we're going to bring up to six. Um, but what you can do um, to make it a little bit more detailed, we can kind of do this. So we can go one, two, and then when it gets to this level where we've got that, we can place that on instead. So one, two, three, place that, and then finish it off to six altogether. Or you can place them all down and then replace them after, whichever is easiest. It's like that just adding a little bit more detail instead of that plain sort of look i think it just looks a little bit better so i'm going to bring all those up making sure i have that there and then we can go on to the next stage so yeah i'll speed this up okay once you've done that it should look like that all the way around now you can decide to have your stairs like this just facing out like this is probably best because it adds a little bit more detail on the outside. You can have them on the inside as well, but I think it just looks a little bit better like that. So yeah, we'll probably go with that. Uh, so now we're going to grab our stairs like this. Um, so basically, stairs at this point going all the way across because we can have some windows in here and stuff like that. Maybe for this bit because we're going to have the horse stable. Now nah, we'll put it there anyway. Um, so obviously not across there there and there and then on top of these we're going to place all these going all the way around with a trapdoor on top so going like this going all the way around for each one damn that was fast and then a trapdoor on top you can use the oak but I'm going to use a uh, spruce like that the oak would just give it a different color I guess you could do it with um, any trapdoor really if you wanted to add color on top of there it would look cool so yeah underneath here we're going to place one and then a spruce stair. So one spruce stair. I'm going to do that for every single one going all the way around here, even to here. So yeah, just a spruce strip log with that on top like that. So yeah, I'm going to do it all the way around. Speed this up.
Okay, I've done that all the way around. Now for this one, I'm definitely going to use the oak trap doors because it's just got that kind of like, uh, you can get some light through these. It just looks really cool, I think. But yeah, that's what it looks like with it on top as well. So yeah, if you want to do that, you can. But yeah, I'm going to speed this up, just pl basically placing up at the top and bottom like that, going all the way around. Okay, I've done all that, so that's going all the way around. We've got those going. Um, yeah, this is what you could do for something like this. You could actually keep to that pattern there. So you could maybe take one out there and maybe take it out at the top here and then just take these out and then you can have something like a trapdoor out there and it kind of, yeah, it just goes with the rest of it and it doesn't look out of place. So you grab some bushes maybe in these corners and stuff and if you want to uh, keep to this you can get the signs and place them on like this even for this little one here just adds a little bit more detail and uh, now at the front here i might actually do the bushes to here so for the front entrance what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab some stripped oak log either side of this and then we can grab the stair so it's just a little bit more thicker there and then we can grab the bush bring the bush across and then of course get our signs you don't have to use the signs you could actually use some flowers there or something like that make it a little bit better so on this bit now i'm going to use the stairs a stair here a stair here like that and then across the top of here it's going to be um some of this one two one two of the spruce either side there and then the next maybe we could grab a stair facing like that and that and then if we place one in the middle it'd have that sort of pattern and we can just place one on top and then we can finish off the pattern like that and um, underneath here now let's see we could maybe get these poking out like this and maybe behind here we could thicken this up so obviously keeping with it the pattern one two three and then that one two three that and um, maybe we could go one one and then maybe just have this going all the way across like that maybe put a stair on there and this is where we can now get our trap doors so grab our trap doors and we can place them behind like this i'd say crouch down maybe two times let's see what it looks like first two times yeah and then crouch down again and you want to place it kind of here so probably from here we can still get underneath it but it kind of looks like a bit of a trap door now what you can do is maybe get a bell or something for the front entrance just so it kind of like gives it that sort of main entrance feel and then uh, yeah i forgot on top of here we can actually do those and then it's you can kind of like add buttons and stuff to decorate so where i would put buttons kind of maybe here so it's kind of like pinning them all in place it's adding more detail but it's still looking good maybe these bottom pillars here on this so it's not as plain there and we can actually do it on the inside as well just keeping to the theme of it and um, at the top here i think these would be perfect for it just around here yeah i think that looks good and um, anything else that we could add maybe we could add some lanterns so if we grab our lanterns and a uh, perfect place for a lantern probably there for our doorway and up here just keeping it nice and lit going all the way around like that perfect and uh, maybe we could use these for the lanterns and then of, of course you can go around and add little areas where you want lanterns dangling down probably the best way to do it is just have that there and kind of crouch down have little lanterns poking out here and there and um, but yeah i think that'll do so for this little bit here we can grab some of the fence so grab the fence maybe like that going all the way across maybe divide it in the middle so we've got a bit of a place for the horses and um, so you can maybe have two there and maybe have a doorway through here so you could have a doorway through here maybe having um yeah a place so you can actually get your horses through you could get them through there and maybe fence it off from about here or something like that so you can get your horses coming through here probably give them a little bit more space actually um, it's probably a bit cruel that way <laughs> not enough space for them so yeah we've got that there and uh, yeah I'm going to fill that with grass because that's kind of a grassy area and uh, yeah so we've got horses that can get in through 
there so maybe we could do something like this we could count one two on each one of these and then we could get something like a bush on top so like a bush here maybe going across there we can make this roof however we'd like i think what you can do is you could maybe get some stairs going across here maybe you could actually use the campfires so get the campfires place the campfires across here like that maybe just one line maybe two lines just going straight across there and of course to actually put them out and um, you can use the shovel or you can use the splash of the water potion that works as well so yeah whichever you decide and then here we could just place an extra one there so it kind of overhangs like that if you don't like the bush and you kind of want to stick to this theme with the signs as well you can stick some signs around it and i think that would look good um, even just the two sides would be good you could have it even just slotting into that bit so it's kind of connected to that and it feels like it's more connected to it you don't have to do it across the front but you can if you'd like maybe you could add some flowers and stuff around the area maybe little bits of flowers around here and um, maybe some sweet berries or something sweet berries and of course i'm gonna need some of my bone meal maybe in each of these corners or something like that even on the inside just each corner one two three of the bone meal one two three that's the perfect optimal thing that the sweet berries come out so we've got that so far i think it's looking pretty damn good so for outside here this is where you can choose to make your castle walls just a little bit extra get a bit more thickness you could maybe grab some of these add them like that just looks like it's a bit more well defended and of course you can kind of take that out and add the bush in there maybe add some little bushes coming around there you can make it messy as well it doesn't have to be kind of as structured as this but i'm a little bit ocd when it comes to having the bills kind of look in a certain way the same with the buttons as well you can have this going across like this i'm trying to do more faster tutorials because i've been doing the long ones and uh, yeah it takes a lot of time so i think people kind of appreciate some of the bit of the short ones so same with this as well obviously you could have a way to get up here and um, get some ladders or something like that if i can even find them yeah ladders and you can decorate it however you like um, i kind of do less interiors these days but that's only because if you've seen the interior videos that i have done they really don't do well at all so it makes me think that nobody actually wants them so yeah but you can get some bush at the top here as well just to decorate it so you can actually get up there you can maybe put this on top get some chests around there or something like that but i think that looks nice on the inside here you can actually use some bushes as well if you kind of just don't like it like that and you kind of don't like it as plain you can kind of do something like that you could even remove that one then and go like that and then underneath you can kind of make it look like it's actually been held up but i guess it is bush so it doesn't necessarily need that but yeah you kind of get the idea of it and um, so up to here let's have a look what it looks like from the inside very nice and you can actually um have like um something like this like an overhang to actually be covered from the rain or something maybe at this height or something if i'm gonna if i'm gonna even do it so maybe something like this going up to here you kind of want to maybe stop it around this sort of area where we've got a post there so you've got kind of more of an inside area and you can decorate it and have it however you like so having this coming out poking out and having an area where it's shut off you can even just do it with trap doors like that and stuff so yeah and you can fill the floor in with whatever you like maybe this is more of the inside of the house and this is more of the courtyard so the courtyard would probably have some paths where people would be walking through maybe some paths coming up here or something like that just kind of coming up to this area and you can add some chests and stuff around the area have these coming up like this probably want that a little bit higher because you don't want your horses 
landscaping obviously you put some fences on there and stuff and add some furnaces chests or whatever you like really obviously this is a really simple version you could have that going across there or something like that and uh, yeah you can start to decorate it you can add some flowers and stuff maybe some vines in different areas some chains hanging down um yeah flowers flowers at the side there maybe a chain hanging down from here um let's see for a chain to be hanging down you probably need an extra one of those that going down and a chain could be <laughs> attached to a chest or something just something silly obviously you can do it however you like add in more detail here and there and of course still divide this you want to get your gate post and with horses i've found you definitely need at least two gates so got two gates there maybe two gates there and from the outside as well you kind of want these two like this something like that kind of however you feel would work and then of course horse you know horse eggs we can put those in got a horse in each thing there it's even that's stuck on the thing but ignore that bit but anyway guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully add to your own little touch to it to make it look pr pretty awesome and extra cool so uh yeah hope you enjoyed this wooden kind of wooden modern style looking castle um but yeah you can add so much more to it add little walkways on the top here and stuff like that which would work and uh, yeah so i'll catch you in the next video almost addicted signing out and if you decide to subscribe hit that bell button because i do videos like this all the time and um, but also um even if you just want to do kind of one of the castle pillars as a tower on its own so like a castle tower here's a small example that i kind of did it's just on kind of like a little thing here it's just for a bit of inspiration so yeah, this one's a bit taller, so basically I've just made that a little bit longer, but stuck to the theme, so yeah. You kind of get the idea of it. You can add some glass in there as well, and um, that might work. And then you've got like an underground kind of hobbit hole as well. So uh, yeah, even just something like that I think looks cool with this design. So yeah, I shall catch you in the next video. Peace out.